This is topic 2-4, solving equations with variables on both sides. Again, we need to keep this organized so we don't get lost. So, separate both sides. I like keeping the variable on the left-hand side and the number is on the right-hand side. So, I'm going to start out by adding 3 to both sides. Bring the variables down because we didn't do anything with them. 13 plus 3, right there. Now, the variable should be on the left, so we need to get rid of this one. So, minus 2k. 6 take away 2 is 4. Bring 16 down. Now, we just divide by 4. These two go bye-bye. K is 4. Not bad. Number two, very similar to number one. So we have to keep the variable on the left. So we need we can get rid of seven right here. So plus seven. Notice that I keep them lined. That way I'm not really tempted to do seven under T because they do not go together. So number under number, bring the variable down, equal sign down, bring 3t down, negative 5 minus 7, right there. Now, t needs to go on the left, so I take away 3t from both sides. 9 take away 3 is 6, bring negative 12 down. Now we just have to divide by 6, positive 6. Bring t equals negative 12 divided by 6, negative 2. Now, fractions, they're people like everybody else. And we can totally type them in like you see them. So we're going to do the same thing we did for number 1. We need to keep the variables on the left-hand side. So we need to get rid of 9, negative 9. So plus 9 on both sides. Make sure you line them up under 7 right there. These two go bye-bye. Bring the variables down. 7 plus 9 bring this down. Now, we're taking away three-fifths. Now we need to add three-fifths to both sides. So plus three-fifths on both sides. These two go bye-bye. two-fifths plus three-fifths. Huh, how sweet. It's one. So one n equals 16. You didn't think this one was going to be that easy, huh? Because when you see fraction, you're like, oh, but it's not bad. One more with fractions. So, I'm going to do the same thing I did for number 3. I get rid of the number first. So, minus 8 on both sides. Line your numbers up so you know what you're doing. Negative 1 over 2 P. Bring the variable down here. Negative 10 minus 8. Now, this variable must go on the left-hand side, so you take away 3 over 2 P, take away 3 over 2 P. These two is 0, negative 1 over 2 
minus 3 over 2. That will give me negative 2. So this is what I typed in, negative 1 half minus 3 halves. So this is negative 2p. Bring negative 18 down. Divide both sides by negative 2. P equals positive 9. Because two negatives make a positive. Three more. Separate both sides. Now, before I start moving things around, I want to combine what I can on the same side. So I'm going to combine 7c and 2c, negative 2c. 8c plus 1, I'm not going to deal with them. So I just bring them down. 7 minus 2 is 5. Bring negative 14 down. Now I can start solving like I did for number 1. Variable must be on the left. Number should be on the right. Take away 1. Bring everything else down. Negative 14 minus 1. Minus 5c. Here I have 3c. Bring negative 15 down. <clears throat> I'm going to have to continue right here on the side. I ran out of room. So divide both sides by 3. C equals negative 5. It had one extra step compared to number one. I'm going to write smaller number six, just make sure I can fit it. So, look at that negative two. I'm going to start out by distributing that negative two. And remember, when we distribute, we multiply, we don't add. Bring eight down, distribute. Negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. I'm going to combine 8 and negative 2 because they are on the same side. A take away 2 is 6. I'm going to move the variable to the other side and the number needs to go on the right so minus 6 if you wanted to do plus 3t first that would have worked too one minus six is negative five now I'm moving the variable over to the other side negative two plus 3 is 1 and since we're talking about variables so it's negative 2t plus 3t is 1t and then bring the negative 5 down that should be the end of number 6 that wasn't bad now number 7 we have to distribute before we start solving so we're going to distribute this 2 right here and 5 right here. We're not solving yet, we're just distributing. And everything else that you're not dealing with, just copy them down. Remember, when you are distributing, you're multiplying. So 2 times 4 is 8. Be careful with that. Now I'm going to combine what's on the same side. So I'm going to combine 5 with 8. And I'm going to use a different color to combine what's on the other side. So 5 and 8, 13. Bring 2K down. 
bring 5k down. Negative 15 plus 10 is negative 5. Now it looks just like number 1, so we don't have too many steps to take from now. So take away 13. Bring the variables down because we're not dealing with them yet. Negative 5 minus 13, we got negative 18. Take away 5k. 2 take away 5 is negative 3. Okay. Now you've got to multiply by, I mean, divide by negative 3. That is your final answer.